Before we get going, we need to create a fresh Laravel installation and give our app a name. Now, if you're familiar with setting up Laravel, you can obviously skip this step. It doesn't really apply to you if you already know how to create a Laravel fresh installation. Now, it's worth noting I'm also using Homestead, which I'd highly recommend you use for local development when you're working with Laravel. If you don't already have it installed, we have a guide on doing that, so you can go ahead and watch that before returning back to this video. So uh, let's just take a look around my directory structure just so we can understand how I'm setting things up. I have this folder www or www within my home directory. And this contains uh, a load of rubbish, but I have my Homestead folder just in here. And I'm working with an older version of Homestead, but it's pretty much the same if you're working with a newer version. So inside of my terminal, I'm currently within my Homestead directory, and we're going to take a look at my Homestead YAML file. If you've set Homestead up successfully, you'll have a Homestead YAML file that you can edit to be able to create sites like chatty.dev or whatever you're calling it .dev. So let's have a look at my homestead.yaml file. And for my sites, amongst a load of other sites, you can see here that I'm mapping chatty.dev to home vagrant dub 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 chatty public so dub 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 is that folder here we don't have a chatty directory here at the moment we'll create that when we create a new laravel project but it's important to note that we're going straight to the public directory and once you've done this you can go ahead and provision vagrant again by using vagrant provision and that will go ahead and take all your settings into account and make sure you have chatty.dev in your hosts file as well you can see that will look like this if I just go over and CD over to Etsy and then I do a Vim on hosts, just type in my password. You can see here that I've got 127.0.0.1 mapped to chatty.dev. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's head back over to our www directory and we are going to go back into our homestead directory and we're actually going to SSH into our virtual machine. So now we have this www directory we can go into. This, remember, corresponds to the directory that we're in here. So whatever we do in here will be reflected locally from our virtual machine. So inside of Laravel, uh, when we install it, we can actually download the Laravel installer using Composer. This makes it really easy to make or create a new Laravel installation by running Laravel, new, and then the name of your project. So let's first of all just run this. This may take a little while. And once that's done, we can go ahead and clear the screen and we can use that command that we saw earlier, Laravel new, and then whatever we want to call it. So all we need to do here is say Laravel new, and I'm gonna call this chatty. And that's gonna craft that application and then we should be ready to go. Great, so now that that is done, if we just return over to our finder, you can see that that chatty directory has been created just here with all of Laravel's fresh installation. So what I'm gonna do is over in my text editor, I'm just gonna copy this over because this is what we're gonna be editing, remember? We now be able to edit all of these and they'll be reflected over on our virtual machine. But if you've set everything up correctly now, you should be able to see when you refresh your host name you should see your fresh Laravel installation and it's worked here and hopefully it has worked for you too and we can now get on with building our social network.